Hey guys, it's Bryce here with yet another Fusion 360 quick tip. This week we will cover some tips with multi-sheet drawings. We can start by adding a sheet by hitting the plus button at the bottom of Fusion 360. Next, let's rename the drawing. Notice that the sheet page and sheet total are automatically tracked in the title block. Now, I want to create a drawing of just one component in this design. But this design is made of multiple components. Let's create a base view. Notice that for the reference, I'm going to choose Create New. This will create a new reference in the browser. We can have multiple references in the browser to control the visibility and suppression of components independently in different views and parts lists on the same sheet. All the components in this design are previewed in the view. In the browser, we get two options for every component. We can use the checkbox to suppress the components. This will remove the component from the parts list and hides it from the view. Alternatively, we can use the light bulb next to the component. This will remove the component from the view, but it will remain in the associated parts list. In this case, we just want to create a drawing for the bottom plate component. So we can select the component and choose Suppress All Except Selected. Make sure to use the browser in conjunction with multi-sheet drawings to get the correct components in the views and parts lists. Now, the last time I created a new sheet, I hit the plus button. Doing this will use the same template as the active sheet. This time, I will right-click and select Add Sheet. This will allow me to choose a different template to use for this next sheet. Once the sheet is created, we can reorder the sheets by simply clicking and dragging the sheets in the Drawing Sheet pane at the bottom. Now here's the last multi-sheet tip. Let's say I want to start with the same three sheets for every drawing. I can lay out these sheets with varying title blocks and sheet sizes, then save them as a template. Next time you create a drawing, reference this new template and start with a new multi-sheet drawing the way your company lays out your drawings. Well, that is the quick tip for this week. Until next time.